Okay, so fitting the piston rings to the piston. Now, um, you can buy special players that will actually spread the piston ring for you um, in a safe manner and allow you to insert it. However, you can do it by hand if you're very careful. They are quite brittle and if you get too forceful they will snap and then you'll just have to start all over again with new piston rings. So do be careful when you're doing this. Now obviously you start with the lowest one first. The lowest one is always the oil control ring. You will typically, on a four stroke engine, you'll typically have three rings. You'll have an oil control ring. Sometimes the oil control ring is in three separate parts. You get two thin rings and then a, a spring portion. So you put a thin ring, a spring portion, a thin, a thin ring. Uh, some, like this one, are one complete part with the oil slots cut in there. Um, like the oil slots on the piston. So that as it sprays up inside, it squeezes out and lubricates the sides of the piston. Um, and then you've got your scraper rings up here. Now a two-stroke engine will typically just have two scraper rings, sometimes just one depending on the uh, depending on the bike in question. So to fit the ring you need to hold it like so, thumbs at the gap there and then these fingers, let's try and get this in focus for you, these fingers down here supporting it and you need to spread it as much as you can but being very very careful that you don't exert too much force all at once and you're basically spreading it enough to drop it right the way down and into its slot and it should have a little bit of spring and it should be able to rotate freely in its slot like so. You then take your second ring, make sure that you've got your markings signifying the, the top and exactly the same procedure Grip these with your thumbs, support these with your fingers, spread the ring and ease it down over the piston. Try not to catch it and drag it and scrape on the piston because you will gouge chunks of alloy out of your piston, which you don't want to do. Um, again, you should see a bit of spring in there and um, this is what makes your gas tight seal once it's squeezed into your piston. And finally your top ring. Same procedure again, find your markings signifying the top. Uh, on this one, I don't know if you can see this, but you'll see it's actually got a chamfer, a very obvious chamfer on this one. Sometimes it's not so obvious, sometimes it's just ever so slightly sloped, but the chamfer will go to the top as well if there's no markings, if you would happen to have one with no markings on. And exactly the same again, same procedure, grip, support, expand, and drop over. Now all of these should sit in their appropriate grooves and they should all spin freely like so. So if you're at this point they're all fitted, they'll rattle about nicely and they will spin unhindered. Then you've done a good job so far. When you're spacing the rings you need to space them so that they are 120 degrees apart. So for example, from a top view, if your oil control ring, if you put in the gap at the front, like so, then the second scraper ring, you need to put the gap at, I was trying to think how best to explain this, so basically, if the oil control ring has the gap here, then the next ring up needs the gap here and then the top ring needs the gap here so that they are spaced at equal 120 degree intervals from one another and this helps um, with, uh, with sealing because if you line them all up together uh, although it's, uh, it's, it's highly unlikely unless you've got huge gaps in there but if you line them all up together like so put them in the bore then the odds are you could lose some compression until your cylinder gets up to operating temperature and actually closes up these gaps for you um, by expanding the piston so if it's, a, if it's a two ring piston then you're doing them 180 degrees apart so you're putting one at the top one at the bottom or one at the side and one at the other side uh, whichever way, as long as they're opposites. If it's a single ring piston, clearly it doesn't matter, you just put it in any old how. Uh, but as I say, if it's a, a triple ring, 120 degrees, a double ring, 180 degrees, and, uh, and it will look something like oil control ring. Oop. 
So oil control ring up at the top there. Your second scraper ring down here and your top scraper ring over here. So that's just roughly of course but hopefully that's um, that's clear enough to explain to you.